Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the integrated form of the rate law for a second order reaction. And then we are going to derive an expression for the half-life of a second order reaction. The differential form for a second order reaction involving only one reactant A is D concentration of A divided by DT. So this is the change in the concentration of A with time is equal to minus K times the concentration of A to the second power. And it is this power of two that makes it a second order reaction. This is a separable differential equation. So we're going to apply the method of separation of variables. We multiply each side by DT and divide each side by the concentration of A squared so that we get all the expressions involving the concentration of A on the left-hand side and involving time on the right-hand side. Our initial condition is that at time t equals zero, the concentration of A was simply A sub zero, where I've left off the brackets just to make it more distinct that this is the initial amount of A. At some time t in the future, the concentration of A is simply the concentration of A, as we've shown here. So we can integrate the left-hand side and integrate the right-hand side. The antiderivative for 1 over x squared is minus 1 over x. So if we apply that at the limits, we get minus 1 over the concentration of A plus, we have minus and minus, 1 over A sub 0, and then the right-hand side is minus kt, because t is equal to 0 at one of the endpoints. Slightly rearranging the left-hand side, we get that 1 over a sub 0 minus 1 over the concentration of a is equal to minus kt. So this is a convenient integrated form of the rate law for a second order reaction. In our next step, we are now going to calculate the half-life for a second order reaction. By the definition of the half-life, at the half-life, the concentration of a is equal to the initial value a sub 0 divided by 2 half of what it was. And the time is the half-life time when this occurs. If we substitute these values into our integrated form of the rate law, we get, making those substitutions, we get 1 over a sub 0, that's unchanged, and we get minus 2 over a sub 0, that's 1 over a sub 0 over 2, gives us 2 over a sub 0, equals minus kt sub 1 half. Subtracting on the left-hand side, we get minus 1 over a sub 0, and then minus on this side and minus on that side, if we multiply each side by minus 1, now we get everything positive. 1 over a sub 0 equals positive k t sub 1 half. And then we simply divide each side by k to get the half-life. With that, we get a result that the half-life for a second-order reaction involving one reactant is equal to 1 divided by k times the concentration of A initially. So we see that in the case for a second order reaction, unlike for a first order reaction, that the half-life time does depend upon the initial concentration of the reactant A. I thank you very much for your attention. Stay safe. And as always, have a good one.